time, Rashida Naaman and their families would like to welcome all of our guests, the ones that are here as well, and also the ones who are on Zoom near and far. We are grateful you took the time today to come to their wedding, either in person or virtually and anywhere else. Hello and welcome everyone to Dover, Delaware, to Rashida and Naaman's virtual wedding. And also welcome to the dog and everybody else, all of our guests. We gather here today in the midst. We gather here today in the midst of a great pandemic. Times have been difficult and challenging for many of us. Can you all hear back there? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. Through it, we have seen that love conquers all, and the love of Rashida. Ask you, who gives this woman to enter into holy matrimony? I do. Give your daughter a hug and a kiss. Oh, so beautiful. Okay, and you can give an elbow bump to your. New son-in-law, her handshake, <laughs> whatever you're comfortable with. Okay, sir, thank you. And pray, God of love, we thank you for the gift of marriage and for the joys it brings. We thank you for the love that has brought Naaman and Rashida to each other and for the desire to share that love for the rest of their lives. We ask you to bless this wonderful couple and all of their family, friends gathered here and everyone today who decided to come in and share this wonderful wedding through Zoom. Through Christ our Lord, amen. A little bit of their love story. They initially met when they were in the same unit in the military. At an event before deployment, they finally had a chance to sit down and talk. And listen to this. And talk and talk they did. In fact, they talked all day. Rashida was immediately impressed by Naaman's respectfulness towards women. Additionally, she was drawn in by his honesty. And Naaman told me when he first met Rashida, he was attracted to her, of course, of her, because of her beauty, but also her sense of calmness. As he said, she is just as real as can be. They gradually built this into a beautiful relationship based upon trust and mutual respect. Naaman also told me how Rashida is very unselfish and puts others before herself. Beyond that, she found him to be hardworking, very supportive, and having the biggest heart all the qualities she was looking for in her future husband. This ceremony dates back to the 1600s and can be traced to many diverse cultures. The most well-known is the traditional jumping of the broom that derives from Africa. Jumping the broom is an African tradition still being practiced in some parts of West Africa today and also obviously in the US and other countries. It is also a rich part of historic culture that was practiced during colonial times in North America when traditional marriages was not allowed for. Today, this couple honors and respects this legacy and heritage, as well as it symbolizes their coming together and the coming together of all of the families and people here today. As Naaman and Rashida jump, they physically and spiritually cross the threshold into the land of matrimony. It marks the beginning of their making a home together. It also, also symbolizes the sweeping away of the old and the welcoming of the new. It's also a call of support for the marriage from their entire community of family and friends. The bride and groom will now begin their new, their new life together with a clean sweep. Naaman, will you please take the broom and symbolically sweep in front? Okay, and place the broom down. Okay, I'm going to ask everyone to count one, two, three, jump together with me now and shout with joy as they perform their first act of working together in unity as husband and wife. One, two, three, jump! Yeah! By the power vested in me by the state of Delaware, I do hereby declare you, Rashida Austin and Naaman Johnson, to be husband and wife. Congratulations and blessings. You may kiss your bride. How about that? <laughs> That's right, because she was showing.